I forgot her harness at home. But the weird thing about Ellie is that she, oh, let me fix your leg. Wait, <laughs> she's not used to being on a leash. Hold on. It says she loves the swings. Don't get crazy. I'm gonna take Ellie for a walk because she's like a, not used to the uh, to the to the she's not used to the leash. She gets off the run. So we came to the park. We haven't been here in a lot of years. And we just felt like getting out. Bringing Ellie for her first walk. I forgot her, ha I forgot her harness. <laughs> Ellie loves swings. She'll sit on your lap the whole time you swing, like for an hour. If you swing for an hour, she'll sit there. Yeah, she loves it. But now she's sitting on the bench with me like an old girl. Do you wanna go on the slide with me? <laughs> I just missed Gabby almost wipe out. <laughs> no, I was there. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, here we go. Gabby being born again. <laughs> she seems to like to fit between small places. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, uh, one of Gabby's birthday presents came. So uh, this is it. This is something that Sam bought for her. Gabby, can you show them how it works? Oh. It will look brighter in the dark. Oh, so it has a light in there. You can't see it because it's oh, not it dark, but the light. eyes light up and flash. It goes over your shoulder. Show them how it goes over your shoulder. It's super cool. It gets stuck on my sweater hoodie. Oops. It flips over too. So this is a popcorn holder. He bought it from Universal Studios. It's cool. It's cool. So show them where the popcorn goes. Hang on, it's stuck. Hang on. Uh. She's attacked by her birthday present, Sam. Okay, good. So uh, the back of it opens, and then the popcorn oh, goes in there. And I'm like, Gabby, that's not much popcorn. And she said, well, it's for kids. So also the ears do something. What happens to the ears? They move. And then what? You round something up and it flipped back and forth. What was that? It's cool. Like, I'm not a big toy fan, but she loves it. It is actually really super cool. Hang on, wait. This is Toothless. Yeah. Toothless from the How to Train Your Dragon series. It's oh, it's his little wings. Oh, she, you, I didn't really get a chance to show them. So the little wings flap at the back and the lights turn on and off. It's cool. We gotta go to the movies now so that she can use it. It is three days after her birthday. Uh, two days after her birthday, her ID came in. So her ID came in, one birthday present. We're working on it, you guys. She's gonna have a week long, a month long birthday. All of her surprises, all the things we bought her are slowly trickling in. It's just gonna be like an extended birthday. Anyway, welcome to today. Today we are headed out and we're gonna take you guys with us. I was gonna take the horse's blankets off, but it's, it's nice, I think we can. All right, so there goes our couch again, dirty. So I washed all the polo wraps and now, and I didn't put them in the dryer because I want them to just kind of dry naturally. I need to hang them up somewhere so that they can dry. They're not like very, very wet. They're pretty much dry, but I just don't want like any mildew or anything to get on them. So I'm just gonna leave them unwound. For the weekend and then I'll roll them all up. Like this one pair is a little bit thicker so they didn't dry. And then our fly masks. This is Gracie's fly mask. I love this fly mask for Gracie. We need to get the baby a new one and I might need to get a few new fly masks this year. This one did not make it through the washer very well. That sucks. 
This is one of my favorite polo wraps. I'd like to be able, so our new trainer, Sophie's new trainer is gonna show us how to, how to do it. Gabby knows how to do it. But if Sophie and I know how to do it, I think we'll put them on more often. I think Brooklyn would love to have an opportunity to dress up her pony. I can see, and I could see Gracie wearing that color. Anyway, we have a bunch of cute ones. I'll show you later. All right, are we good? All right, let's go. Let's go, sister. Today on the agenda, Sam wants to fix some fencing in the back, make it better. And I wanna show you guys one more thing before we head out. There's Chino having lunch. <laughs> Another project that we have on the go for today is my garden. So Sam's been digging it and getting it ready and getting the weeds out and stuff. I'm gonna, we're gonna work on it today. I'll probably help him work on it. It is a glorious spring day, you guys. It like gets cold when the wind comes up. We still have the horse's rain sheets on, which is so super annoying because it's already May almost. I am so happy to be outside and being able to be outside and be able to get all of our work done. Another project that the girls are gonna do today, Sophie, listen to this project. They are going to take a rake out there, rake up all that hay in front of the horse shelter. I just told Sophie that her and Gabby's job today is to rake up all that shelter okay. hay. Good idea. Just hook up the uh, trailer to the lawn She's tractor, helping. fill it up, and. I'm gonna work on my garden. We are headed into our local mall because Gabby got a gift card. I love that hoodie. It's so cute. All jeans, $29.99. Buy one, get one 50% off shorts. Look at how cute that dress is. Good. Wow, they have all their summer stuff in. They have shorts the same as your pants, Gabby. You want to get a pair of those? We are shopping. The group. This is Gabby's favorite store. So she got a gift card. Yeah. Your favorite store too? Aww. Okay, those are cute. Sophie likes colored stuff. Now we're shopping for Sophie. And she just saw these shoes and she said you would wear these shoes. And it's true. I would wear these shoes. I love them. I love stuff like this. Gabby hates stuff that draws attention to her, and I love stuff that's like blingy or bougie. You guys like them? Comment below if you would wear them. But anyway, I wanted to just give you guys an update on the baby chicken. This is the status of my life. This is, this, like, it's become insane. She jumps out of her bed. We made a bed for her. It looks like this, and she's got her food and her water in there. She's got a nice bed in there, um, but she much prefers my chest. So she jumps out, I'm not even joking. I don't even know how it happened. For the first four days, I was, for the first four days, I was just nursing her all the time. I was just, get your head up there, feeding her and giving her water and giving her medicine. And that's all I was doing. There was no bonding. But then the next day when she was better and she could walk around, she was bonded. Like, I don't even know how it happened. She jumps out of her bed and walks around all over the floor. She is so annoying. This morning I went upstairs, Ellie comes everywhere with me. Ellie and I went upstairs so I could get dressed for the day and I could hear her, her noise. Do you hear her noise? This is what she does all day. So I could hear her noise, it was getting louder and louder and louder. I'm like, what the heck? Cause I had put her in her bed and I had put, I put a blanket over top of it so she can't get out. She found a way out and she went all the way over to the stairs and was getting ready to climb the stairs to find me. Like she could hear me up there and she was going up there to find me. So I have a house chicken. I didn't ask for a house chicken. She always like, and I can't just sit here. She wants me to sit here so that she can cuddle up and snuggle with me. I think she obviously is lonely and maybe would do better with another chicken, but I don't want to bring another chicken in and make another chicken like a house chicken. I don't know. It's an issue. Her and Ellie, <laughs> her and Ellie are becoming like massive friends. She jumps at Ellie, plays with Ellie. Ellie plays with her. Ellie thinks that she's a dog. They squish each other. The chicken goes underneath Ellie's belly and Ellie like smothers her. <laughs> it's insane. But they're getting, see she's watching Ellie right now, but they're getting to be really close friends. I would say she's second closest to Ellie. Last night I tried to put her to bed and she was freaking out. She was just screaming at the top of her lungs like she was not gonna stay in her bed. So. I literally got to the point where I was coming down to bring the chicken up to bed with us. So there was going to be me, there was going to be Sam, me, Ellie, and a chicken in my bed last night. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot sleep with the chicken. But she will only settle and go to sleep when she's with me. 
So I grabbed a towel, like a, a warm fleecy towel, and I wrapped her up in it as tight as I could, and I tucked her into a blanket in her bed, and she went right to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, that's the update on the, on the chicken. She is doing better, but like I said, same as yesterday. She flops every once in a while, and her neck gets, gets twisted, and then she can't, depending on, and then it's hard for her to get up, so if there's other chickens with her, they trample her and then it'll just cause more problems. So I have to keep her separated just until she's strong enough that she doesn't fall over. So anyway, that is her. Say hi. Say hi. She, uh, we were shopping all morning. She was so excited. So when I come in now, I have Ellie screaming for me and I have the chicken screaming for me. I'm gonna be that crazy person walking down to the barn this summer with Ellie running behind me and a chicken. Yep, that's gonna be my life. Hi guys, I'm waiting for Gabby. Uh, I've been letting her drive the truck around everywhere. And we are going to pick up a rain barrel because we don't have one and we need to burn the stuff. The keys are in here. Oh, you, I give her the keys. And I'm waiting for her to get in the car and she's gonna drive me to get a rain barrel. It's like having your personal chauffeur but more terrified as you're being driven around. Okay, you know what? <laughs> being a little bit more terrified as you're driving around with your personal chauffeur. We're in drive through. Uh, What's wrong with that? Probably be free. I've got my free coffee. I misjudged it. Gabby's always adjusting her seat. On the way from the mall, she had different shoes on. And uh, now won. she's got different shoes on again, so. Hey, I just saw that truck drive by. What the heck, it's going back and forth. Uh, oh, we're in that way. What? Okay, you're going on the curb. <clears throat> okay, go in here, turn in here. Go that way, and we're turning left. We're going to pick up rain barrel. The car's well, coming you everywhere. Me when we were going left. Okay. That's because you were like going over a curb too. Yeah, but I only went over a curb because I was more focused on turning the wrong direction. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're like, no, left, left. So, Didn't ask. So I thought you knew where you were going. Let's go, we're gonna follow the GPS. It's gonna tell us exactly where to go. Training with a GPS. There's a GPS. We're gonna get some rain barrels and we're gonna be training. Anyways, we got this handy dandy video system, Halo View, and what it comes with is a, a driving camera in the front here. And I'll show you a video of that soon on the install, as well as it has a, a backup camera as well. And it's made for trailers, but I'm going to use it as a backup system for my truck. And anyways, every time you drive, it records. So if we get into an accident, we'll have real-time footage of the crash. And hopefully we don't need to see that footage. But it also has a big memory card in it. Uh, you can put any size memory card you want in it, but this one comes with a memory card. All right, so we picked up our rain barrel, and our, I mean our burn barrel, and now we're going home. So I've been in the barn this whole entire time. I'll show you what I've been doing. I am getting all the polar wraps wrapped. I know there's a machine for it. We need a machine. We don't even use these things and we need a machine. But we're almost done. I just have a few pairs left. But it takes a long time, you guys. Let's go see what the heck is happening in here. Wow. Look at that. Hi, Chino. Look. She's like, help me! <laughs> no, we work the hard way by drinking a so I'm attached to it now. Come here. So can she trot? Down. Oh, yeah, Ellie, down. Thank you. Stay. I saw her trotting. Look at her go! You guys! Elizabeth, you want to ride in her cart? Yeah. 
So I'm like, let's get a cart. And Sophie's like, we still have a long way to go. And it's true, we definitely do. But I'm still impressed with her. Like, why is she pink? Where did you get pink? Good girl. Don't try to separate the ones you hate from the ones that you don't know. This arena has been so much meant so much more to us than just horses. It's been like dogs, it's been kids playing in here. It's been amazing. I'm gonna get it dragged. Elizabeth dying? Elizabeth, no, are you asleep? No, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> Your dog found my treats. <laughs> I'm hungry now. We are literally supposed to have rain for the next six days, so Sam's gonna close this door tonight. Anyway, today Gabby got a new pair of track pants at um, American Eagle. You guys will probably see them in like a future vlog. I'll show you them when she wears them. When Sophie gets new clothes, she's like me. She wears them like almost right away. When Gabby gets, oh. when Gabby gets new clothes, she like lets them settle in for a little bit before she wears them. And Sophie got, so Gabby got a sweater, a hoodie, and some track pants, and Sophie got two, two sweaters, and oh, she's wearing one today, I'll show you. Uh, two sweaters, they're exactly the same, just different colors. And a t-shirt that she wanted, and then she got that black dress. Sophie put horses in their stalls. Come on. Get out there. Hi, um, oh, little baby. So this is one shirt that she got. It's super lightweight. This is cutie. So she what? thinks that she'll be able to wear it for summer. It's super cute. It's like, it has like. It's like a waffle weave. You can see through it when you yeah. stretch it. I mean, they can, you can see through everything nowadays. You gotta drive it. Come on. Come on, little mini. Come on, little mini. We all call her the same thing. Every day I try and, and make myself like a bunch of jobs and get them done and this is one of them for today and I got it done. Now I just need to find a place for all of these. Good job, Sam. Woo! <laughs> I don't think you can burn wet, wet stuff. Yeah, you just have to get it going. You just have to get it going? No, I didn't make the fire first. Yeah. I think it went out. Yeah, it went out. Anyway, you know how you want us to clean up that Hey. Oh, okay. You. What do you mean you? So here's the thing. I try to rake it. It's impossible. That whole first part of the field is pure mud. You can't even walk through it. This is the first year that we've had horses in here in the winter, and it kind of messed up. We did have them during COVID. We had three. Remember? Finn, Gino, Storm. We had them there, but it wasn't. We didn't have as much water and rain. And stuff. Yeah, this spring we had a lot of. Here we had all. Well, it's going. It's just yeah, it's going. It's going to take a while. Also, Sam went to TSC again yesterday and bought more of these little twines that he needed so that he can drag the garden and he can drag the arena better and make it look better. Slowly but surely. Sometimes I feel like. The only way to get through big jobs, like cleaning up your farm for summer, is to do little bits each day. And that's pretty much what we've been doing. Don't you know that you're beautiful, just the way